What's up everybody, Icebreaker here. I am on my Smoky Assassin account, as you can see. We have got a new extra ability today, so we're gonna jump in and see what we can do with it. Let's take a look. All right then guys, this is today's extra ability. It is the remote hack. Um, if you press on the stats button, it says duration for 16 seconds. Now, what that does is, if you've got um, the hero, Captain Everspark, unlocked, you'll know about her universal remote. Um, it's where you can capture a defense, and it will turn on other defenses and shoot on them for a short period of time. Um, that's what the remote hack is, the gunboat ability is the same feature as that except you can shoot it on any defense and some protos and stuff um, from the gunboat. Now it's worth noting that the key difference between um, Captain Eversparks remote and the gunboat remote hack is Sparky cannot hack prototypes, she only hacks normal defenses. Um, whereas the remote hack we get today can hack some defenses, um, some protos and all defenses. Um, you can't hack. Uh, where's my weapon? There it is. Um, you cannot hack um, shield gens. You can't hack them ones. And damage amps can't be hacked either. Okay. Now, when we first got this ability all those years ago on the first anniversary in Mega Crab. You should be able to hack the core and watch all the defenses nearby go to town on it and take it down for you using nothing but remote hack on the core. That has now been patched, so do not waste your GBE trying to hack the core because it will not work. It's also worth noting, guys, that the remote hack on Everspark, the way we use it um, you know, when we're actually playing Boom, um, when it was developed, the idea was to hack a defense and have it turn and shoot on other defenses. As you can see by her upgrade, when you upgrade it, the capture time stays exactly the same at 15 seconds. Um, the shock duration is when the hack wears off, the defense remains shocked for a few seconds. That's the shock duration. You get the same with that with the remote hack gunboat ability. And the damage bonus is 150 150% at level three, what mine is. Now, I will say that Although those features are cool, that is not how we use it when we play Boom. When we use um, the remote hack either with Sparky or the gunboat ability, what we want to do is, is we want to pick a defense that we want taken out. So let's say we're attacking my base now and we want this shock launcher gone. You can shoot the remote hack at it or hack it with um, Sparky's universal remote and all the defenses nearby will turn on it and shoot it and destroy it so the whole thing of upgrading the remote and using it to use a defense to shoot other defenses or other buildings it never works out that way it never plays out that way because all the defenses nearby will turn around and they will shoot it at the same time which kills it off straight away usually before it can get a shot off um, so don't waste your tokens upgrading the remote because you don't need to do that um, as I said, the capture time remains the same each time, so it doesn't make any difference when you use it, um, if you upgrade it. So, yeah, that's how we're going to be using it, guys. We're going to be using it to strategically pick defenses that we want taken out um, to make our attacks easier. So, let's find a base and jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so I've picked this one. I've got all grains loaded and bullet energy drink. I'm going to drop all my troops. Now, normally you'd have to worry about rocket launchers and stuff, but with the remote hack, we can drop some hacks down on the defenses. And as you can see there, they turn around and take out that defense that I had that I have hacked. As you can see, nine times out of ten, um, the defenses will turn around and destroy it before they can get a shot off. So. Like I said, we um, use this in a strategic way to remove key defenses that we know are going to be an issue, like shock launchers, rocket launchers, and protos and things. Um, it's just a better way of using it. And as you can see, that made that hit really easy. It didn't use any barrage. 
didn't use anything extra literally just hacked a couple of um rocket launchers and the simo and it goes down obviously the simo being a proto defense which you can hack with the gunboat ability and not sparky's remote okay so on this one i'm going to go with the same attack strategy again bullet out front with with the grens in behind and as you can see on this base we've got a grappler which would normally totally ruin this attack because it would snatch bullet and leave the grens unprotected but with the um, remote hack you can drop a hack on it and watch all the defenses take it out uh, same with the doom cannon i'll take all that one out too and the shock blaster just like that so straight away we turn this base into um, a base with no prototype defenses and we haven't even dropped any troops yet so let's drop our troops and now it's just a case of managing you know your gbe your shocks and stuff or anything that flanks the troops and as you build up more gbe you can shock the shot you could um hack the shock launchers if you wanted to we'll see there being the only thing that will slow bullet down and potentially um help the defenses kill him off so we'll hack now the second one and that makes that base really really easy all right guys i'll show you one more attack and like i was saying before there are some protos you can hack which is most of them, but the two that you can are damage amps and shield gens. Now, originally when we got the remote hack, you could hack um, the shield gens and the nearby defenses would take them out for you, but that was patched out at the same time as hacking the core was. So just to demonstrate, I'll drop the remote hack on the shield gen. And as you can see, nothing happens. It's because that doesn't work. It only works on... <coughs> offensive defensive protos um which is opposite of what a shield gen is which is a defensive prototype um, whereas the offensive defensive prototypes are the ones that kill troops so we can drop bullet on this one get our grens down then we can hack the shot blaster get some critters down for the mines and then we're gonna hack the hot pot and that is pretty much it for that one. Um, then it's just like, like I say, a case of just managing your troops, managing your GBE, watching for anything that flanks, um, you know, the sides of your troops. You know, standard standard um, attack practices. Okay, then guys. So there you have it. That is the remote hack gunboat ability. Really, really good. Really good for operations equally good for um map clearing and stuff definitely worth having a play around with and getting used to using make the most of it guys it's only here for the day um if you like what we're doing here why don't you check out these couple of videos on screen now make sure you smash that like and subscribe buttons and if you want to support us why don't you check out our patreon page where you can unlock exclusive bbtfrg perks um and yeah that's it guys i will catch you for the next one see you later guys